testing, testing. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the MAX for our second annual Juneteenth celebration. Uh, we are so happy that you're here to uh, join us today. I have a few little, uh, little announcements to make, um, little <laughs> housekeeping things. So we have restrooms open right over here. There's a sign in front. There are men's and, men's and women's uh, restrooms uh, for your convenience. There's also some water up here. You can help yourself. It is so hot today, it's 95 degrees already in the shade. <laughs> so help yourselves to some water. And um, for the groups that um, we invited today, we're giving away um, a free ticket for a free lunch at, from Hillbilly Dots in the back. If you didn't get a ticket, see this lady right here. Um, she's got on all black <laughs> right here. So see her and she'll get you a ticket if you didn't get one. So we're gonna start now, and um, we're ready to have y'all ready to have some good a good time. All right. Some of you will remember this group from last year, and so y'all know that uh, uh, the ones who haven't met them, you're in for a real treat. So I'm gonna sit down and hand it over and welcome our group for today, Jonathan Blanchard. I'll be so glad when uh -huh, when the sun goes down. I'll be so glad when uh -huh, when the sun goes down. I'll be so glad when uh -huh, sun goes down. I'll be so glad when uh -huh, when the sun goes down. Ain't all that sleepy, but I, I wanna lie down. Uh, ain't all that sleepy, but I, I wanna lie down. You chop your corner just like, like I chop mine. Uh, you chop your corner just like, like I chop mine. I was still a matter, baby. I can't see. I was still a matter, baby. I can't see. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun goes down. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun goes down. Everybody on their feet. Everybody on your feet. Everybody on your feet. Take your hammer in your hand and you're gonna bring it down. Here we go. Here we go. I'll be so glad when, oh, when the sun go down. Oh, I'll be so glad when, uh, when the sun go down. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun go down. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun go down. I was a matter, baby. All I can't see. I was a matter, baby. All I can't see. You chop your corner just like. Like I chop mine, you chop your corner just like like I chop mine. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun goes 
so glad when uh, uh -huh. when the sun go down. When I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun go down. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun go down. I'll be so glad when uh, when the sun goes down. Yeah. What's happening, Meridian? How y'all doing? First of all, let me say happy Juneteenth. Yeah, yeah. It's very appropriate that we sing that song together. That is what's called a feel song. Let me hear you say feel song. These are songs that were developed after enslaved Africans were kidnapped and brought to this country as prisoners of war and enslaved. And we say enslaved because no man is born a slave, man is enslaved by other men. Coming here, being stripped of their religion and their tradition, their language, and remembering that these people, most, for the most part, were young adults and teenagers. They had to be healthy enough and strong enough to make that trip that took at least three to six months in the bowels of a ship. So they arrived here as young adults, teenagers, early 20s, and they used what they had to create this coded language called the spiritual. Let me hear you say spiritual. And I mean songs like, um, Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God gonna trouble the water, singing wait in the water. Wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God gonna trouble the water. How many of y'all familiar with that song? All right. See, these spirituals were a coded language, kind of like how we use slang today. Songs like Wade in the Water, you all know the story, Underground Railroad. You all know that once you were running away and dogs had been unleashed, the only way to keep them off of your scent was to take an onion and rub it on your foot, or if you were lucky, wait, wade or walk in the water. Now, if you were going west into what was then Spanish territory, you'd be crossing over what river? The Mississippi River, that's right. Now, if you are going north, You'll be going beyond the Ohio and the Missouri River. How many of you have heard of Lewis and Clark? All right, so you're familiar with the Ohio and Missouri River. So this is how these songs were used. These songs were used to communicate in secret. Songs like, Let us bring bread together on our knees. Let us bring bread together on our knees when I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun oh Lord have mercy on me yeah that song is also a coded song let us break bread, meaning let us meet together. Falling on my knees, meaning we're sneaking off, facing the rising sun. The sun rises in the, somebody says sky, and that is correct. But east, it rises in the east, giving direction. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Make sure you're not being followed as you come to this meeting, right? Now, out of this spiritual, all original forms of American music were born. Now, remember... These were children, and that's important as we move through this program because you're going to see that a lot of these movements, a lot of these, a lot of these revolutions come out of the youth making a decision. So a lot of these songs now that we hear, a lot of your genres, American genres, come out of these spirituals, whether it's your blues, your country, or your gospel. 
And I'll give you an example. <clears throat> swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming forth to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming forth to carry me home. Now watch this. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You can't count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be plenty of time for counting. When the deal is done, a swing low, sweet cherry. How many of y'all knew the gambler by Kenny Rogers? <laughs> I'm just playing. That's not a spiritual. I'm just playing. <laughs> but, it's a, but it is a wonderful song. And I sang those two songs together just so you could see what we're talking about. Now, country's a little different because it comes out of a place called the Appalachian Mountains. How many of y'all familiar with the Appalachian Mountains? In the Appalachian Mountains, particularly in West Virginia, You've got a situation where you got a lot of poor black folk and a, poor, a lot of poor white folk right after 1865 working together in the coal mines. And out of that environment, when you throw the African instrument, the banjo, into the mix, you get what we now call country music. Now, further down south, something slightly different was going on, but it was only different based on the words that were being used. Because at this point, your gospel, your blues, and your country sounded a whole lot alike. How many of you all remember a movie with Denzel Washington called The Great Debaters? If you saw that movie, the first scene opens, there's a field. It's late at night, there's a field. And off in the distance, you see this shack with a light shining. And when they get into the shack with the camera, you see folks dancing real slow and real sultry, and they passing around this jar where God knows what's in it. But you hear this music, and the music has a very secular sound. But if you listen to the words that are being sang, it's a spiritual, because it evokes the same emotions. It takes you spiritually to the same place, because, again, your country and blues and gospel felt and sounded alike at this time. And we're going to do a little gospel for y'all, if that's all right. Can we do a little gospel? Yeah. We're going to do a little staple singers for y'all. Now, this is not one of those traditional songs, but you will learn that as we go into the 50s and 60s, what was first your gospel and your spirituals become protest music. Say protest music. Now, it was said that uh, a man by the name of Pop Staples was down in Alabama, and he heard this young man preaching. And after hearing him preach, he decided to go back to his hotel room, brought his band in, and he told him, I want to do on stage what that man do does in the pulpit, and that has set people's minds free. That young man was Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Here we go. Land 
in jail and no money to go to bill keep your eyes on the prize hold on hold on hold on keep your eyes on the prize hey said hold on hold on began to shout, doors popped open, all walked out, keep your eyes on the prize, hold on, hold on, hold on, but keep your eyes on the prize, hold on, one more time, say hold on, hold on, keep your eyes on the prize, hold on, come on Caleb. I said, these songs that were gospel and spirituals eventually became protest songs. And these songs would be used when folks were marching or they were sitting in or any kind of civil disrest. In honor of those that came before us that made it possible for us to be here, we're going to do something they did. I need everybody to stand up one more time. We're gonna form something called the Unbreakable Chain. Say Unbreakable Chain. Unbreakable Say Unbreakable Chain. Unbreakable chain. Take your right arm, put it over your left arm, and fist bump the person next to you if you can. Yep. This shows that we are united. Shows that we are together. Shows that we're fighting for the same cause. And we're gonna rock. Here we go. We're gonna rock to the left first. One, two, three. Everybody go left. Right, left, your other left, here we go, left, yeah, right, left, right, <laughs> left, right, yeah, left, right, yeah, left, right, here we go, left, only chain and I can stand, all the chains of hand in hand, keep your eyes on the prize, oh no. If that plow stands in your hand, then you're straight in the promised land. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Everybody sing. Say, hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. One more time. Say, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bring it I don't hear y'all singing out there. I can't hear y'all singing. I tell you what, we gonna see who can sing the best. Everybody on this, everybody up here, sit down, sit down, sit down. Everybody up here, I wanna hear y'all sing. Now all you gotta do is repeat after me. One, two, repeat, here we go. Hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. One more time. One more chance. Hold on. Hold on. That ain't bad. I think they did great. <laughs> that ain't bad. Okay, okay. Not bad at all. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Y'all have a seat. That was good. 
I need y'all to stand up. I need y'all to stand up. See what you got. Show me what you can do. <laughs> Y'all ready to say yeah? All right. All you got to do is repeat after me. On one, two, one, two. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. One more time. Sing. Say, hold on. Hold on. Number four of them up there. Right. Y'all sound great. <laughs> what you think? I think it's You know what? I, I can't big. I can't size. Can you I can't. I can't big size. I ain't big size. You know what? I think we all did it together. Mm -hmm. Like it's supposed to be right there. Let me hear you sing it by yourself. You ready? <laughs> I'm just teasing. I think we gonna do it all together. It'll be much more powerful. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. One more time. Sing. Say, hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. One more time. Say, hold on, hold on, keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, yeah. Now you know I'm gonna lead the blues out. This is Meridian, Mississippi. Huh? Now, now the myth goes like this. The myth says, there's a man uh, by the name of W.C. Handy that was down in Alabama where he heard this guy, this old man with this pocket knife, sliding up and down the strings of the guitar, making that round, round, round sound. And from that, he was inspired to write the Memphis blues and the St. Louis blues. Now, that's the myth. We all know where the blues come from, down in Delta. Huh? Money Waters, Screaming Jay Hawkins, Howling Wolf, and the King, Mr. B.B. King. Now when I was a young boy, around the age of five, my mother said I'd be the greatest man in life. Now I'm a man. I done passed 21. Oh, believe me, honey. I have a whole lot of fun. So I'm a man. A full grown man. I'm a man. I'm a rolling stone. I'm a man. Coming on strong man, I'm a man, you better leave me alone, see I'm, see, I'm, I'm satin on the outside, oh man, man, oh believe me honey, I come home two hours later, I wasn't that a man, Full grown man, I, I'm a man, I'm a rolling stone, I'm a man, coming on strong man, I'm a man, okay.
Caleb, y'all. Hey, child. And that represents a man now. No be. <laughs> no. Oh, child. Why? That spells a madness, boy. <laughs> Represents a man, uh, no be uh, oh child, why? Yeah, had to do it, <laughs> had to do it, yeah. So this blues started moving west and found himself down in the boot where it got a little sophisticated. Add a little, a little, a, a little uh, syncopation to it. And they called it jazz. With the likes of Buddy Bolden, Jelly Roll Morton, Louis Armstrong. We're gonna do a little jazz for y'all. Miss Keisha, you ready? Do a little Nat King Cole, here we go. I 
vocals, y'all. Y'all give it up one time. Yeah. John on keys, my own drums. Give it up for him. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you're right. So, uh, right after World War I was the first time that America's middle class experienced a phenomena called pocket change. This was the first time the middle class little, had a little extra money. And that money trickled down into the pockets of the teenagers that belonged to that group. Record labels and radio stations came up with an idea as to how to get their hands on some of that extra money. So they took the blues out of the rural areas of America and they renamed it and rebranded it rock and roll. I'll say it again. They renamed the blues rock and roll to make it more marketable to a wider audience. All right? How many of y'all familiar with um, the Kang, Mr. Elvis Presley? Yeah, we're gonna do some of that. Now, how many of y'all familiar with um, who is called the father of rock and roll, Mr. Ike Turner? Now, it's said that Ike Turner's, <laughs> that's right, it's said that Ike Turner's Rocket 88 was the first rock and roll song. However, back in 1922, a young lady from Atlanta, Georgia by the name of Trixie Smith sang the first song with the phrase rock and roll in it. Not only was she a singer, but she was also a school teacher. And get this, she was signed to a record label called Black Swan Records that was owned by none other than philosopher and teacher W.E.B. Du Bois. We're gonna do a little rock and roll for y'all. If you wanna get up and dance, feel free. Here we go. <laughs> Tell me about my little hang. 
This time, somebody got the idea to plug the guitar into the wall and electrify it. That added to the rock and roll. And once again, radio stations wanting to get a better handle on this rural music ran another marketing campaign. And this time, they chose the title, R&B. Once known as race music, it now becomes R&B to once again spread to a wider audience. We're gonna do a little R&B for y'all, is that all right? Yeah. Now in the 60s, artists like Aretha Franklin and Harry Belafonte and John Lennon Curtis Mayfield, Roy Ayers, Marvin Gaye used their platform to speak out for what they believed in. They risked their celebrity to stand up for what they felt was right, correct, and exact. Whether they were speaking up for civil rights and human rights or speaking out against how we treated our environment. In the same vein as Paul Robeson, they took it upon themselves to spread the message. And in honor of them, we're going to do this next song. i 
It's a, um, it's a shame that that song still has relevance today. As beautiful as a song that is, it is. Mm. Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> In the late 50s, an ally of America, and I'm speaking about France, got into a conflict with a country that it had colonized prior to. France was trying to hold on to land that didn't belong to them. I'm talking about Vietnam. Some kind of way, as an ally, America got pulled into this war. <clears throat> now whether you believe we should have been there, or whether you believe we should not have been there, we can all agree that a lot of lives were lost and a lot of families were changed forever. Having lost fathers and brothers and uncles in that war, in that conflict. Because of things like this that were happening all over the world, societies began to have a strong distrust of their government everywhere, not just here, everywhere. Out of that is bred a revolution. In that distrust, 
people began to free themselves in multiple ways. And that time period, the early 70s I'm talking about now, had a soundtrack. And that soundtrack was called Funk. Talking about Earth, Wind, and Fire. Parliament Funkadelic. Average white band, cool in the gang. Ohio players. We're gonna do a little Commodores for y'all, that's all right. And if this song pertains to you, get on up and dance. Yeah? She's a brick house. She's mighty, mighty. I'm just letting it all hang out. She's a brick house. She's the one, the only one. I feel like an Amazon. Oh, she's a brick. So these 70s, well, all right. 70s funk turns into something called, well, let's, let's go back just a little bit. So far, every song we have done has been on the one. And what I mean by that is the emphasis has been on the first beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll be so glad when a uh, when the sun goes down, sun go down. I'll be so glad when, uh -huh. when the sun go down. The Swing go down. low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me. When I was 
another young boy. Yeah. Around the age of five. Yeah. My mother said I'd be yeah. the greatest man alive. Yeah. Now I'm a man. Uh -huh. yeah. I done passed 21. Yeah. Believe me, honey. Yeah. I had lots of fun. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? She's a brick house. She's mighty, mighty, just letting it all hang out. She's a brick house. She's the one, the only one. Built. Now the 70s gave way to something called four to the floor. That put the emphasis on every beat. Like this. One, two. That's disco. And out of this disco comes what we know as hip hop. The interesting thing about this hip hop is that it comes out of the same energy as those field songs and spirituals came. Group of young people getting together, deciding that they were tired of what was taking place in their environment. They were tired of seeing their friends and family members killed and gunned down. So they created a culture, and that culture was intended to give them a way to settle their differences without there being violence or bloodshed. This culture had five elements, some of them being graffiti, b-boying, poetry, breakdancing, DJing. And we're going to show you all that transition. Here we go. Come on, get up and dance. To hear it to the hip, dick hop and you don't stop. A rocket to the bang bang boogie, sit up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie we beat. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the B. And me and I brought the crew, we're gonna try to move your feet. But first, you gotta bang bang, a rhythm for the boogie, sit up, jump the boogie to the bang bang boogie, let's rock. You don't stop, that beat that'll make your body rock. Say ho! Say ho! Say ho! Ho! Say ho, ho, say ho, 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 say ho, ho, ho. Now somebody, anybody, everybody scream. Yeah.
I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I'd like to take some time and introduce my band. On guitar, give it up for Caleb. On bass, Brother Dale. In the pocket, Miss Maya. On keys and auxiliary keys, Mr. John Bill, give it up. On vocals on my far right, your far left, Miss Monica Shepard. And on vocals, you heard her earlier on my immediate right, your immediate left, Miss Kisa Mack. Thank you. 